Am I in focus? I don't know. Well, I'm not in focus now. Hello guys, um, today I'm going to do a haul, just a mini haul. I picked up a few things in Manchester that I'm excited about so I thought I would show you. And my camera is too bright because the sun is like beaming. You would not think that I lived in England today. <laughs> So yeah, I went to Manchester with my friend Lizzie and um, we didn't actually go to go shopping and um, we went to film a summer lookbook video which will probably be uploaded now so if it is I will place it here and you can click on it and watch it if you haven't already. <laughs> so yeah, we went into Manchester to film some nice little outfits for a summer lookbook. So yeah, I got a few things, not much but, but the stuff I did get I'm like super excited about so yay. Okay, anyway I'm going to start off with Lush. So I just went into Lush for a look around really, um, nothing specific. Recently I've been getting rashes a lot, like it's weird. I'll take a shower and then I'll get out of the shower and I'll be drying myself and like my, the whole of my arms are itchy and like sometimes my face and it's so so weird because there's nothing that I'm using differently. I've not changed anything. Um, I just don't understand it. Mostly on the tops of each arm, like the size, but this arm is always like way worse. Like, you can't see it right now because I put some cream on, but when I get out, it's like all red and blotchy and itchy. It's so weird, I can't explain it. So, anyway, <laughs> I saw this dream cream, which is um, it's a hand and body lotion um, and it's for sensitive skin. It says, Hello, is it me you're looking for? Life partner for sensitive skin, an elegant simple formula that lets your skin blossom under its coat. It's basically just a moisturiser for people with sensitive skin. It's got, I don't think it's got any perfume in and stuff like that. It's made from oat milk. Um, yeah, I tried it on my arm and the dry skin just disappeared. Like, I'm being serious. It just disappeared. And I was like, that's magic. <laughs> so I bought it. It reminds me of a spa or something. It's really nice. I really like it actually. Um, this cost me £11.95 I think. Yep, £11.95. I wanted to get like a smaller one but they didn't have a smaller version so I thought screw it I'll get the large one and it lasts for a year as well so in fact it lasts for over a year so yeah. Awesome. Okay, next from Lush, I got this face mask. I've not had a face mask from Lush for a while. I went through a phase of buying them and not using them, leaving them in the fridge and forgetting about them and basically wasting money. So I've not bought one for ages. And I saw this new one today, The Sacred Truth. And I thought, why not? I'll try it, I'll give it a go. But yeah, the lady in the shop was telling me, it's not a new mask, it's been there a while, I think, but um, it's a new formula, so it's all been reformulated and I don't know if the ingredients have changed but she said the consistency of the um, mask is different it's almost like a gel um, so yeah it looks really nice it's like really creamy and it smells I don't know what it smells like I don't have a clue it smells it just smells fresh and nice and clean so yeah it says it revives your complexion and enhances your skin so I just like the sound of it you know but why not try it it might give me a nice glow while the weather's getting warmer and yeah that was 650 I think yep 650 and if you bring back five lush pots you get a free face mask so <laughs> Next, I'm going to go with Selfridges. Um, this is not the next shop I went in, but we're not doing it in order. Nah. I actually only went in Selfridges because I was I had like a 25 minute wait until my train. So I just thought, oh, I'll just nip in, have a look at some lippies, you know, like you do. Last week I went in Selfridges to get the Tumble Dry lipstick from the Wash and Dry collection. I went in Selfridges to get it, it was there. And I was like, I'll leave it till after, I'll get it later, see how much money I've got left after the day. And then when I went back to get it, because I had enough money, it was gone, it was sold out. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. And then the lady was like, you're not gonna be able to get it now because there's not gonna be any more in stock because it's a limited edition. So once it's gone, it's gone. So I was like, great. <laughs> but the packaging was super cool. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, anyway, that's why we're talking about that. Um, I was having a look around, you know, waiting for my train, and I was like, maybe, I, maybe I can get one thing. Like, I was looking at a bunch of things in that. So I was looking at the highlighters, thinking, I kind of, I kind of want a new highlighter. I couldn't find one that I wanted. So then I was like, looking at the lipsticks. I'd like swatches all over me, and I couldn't decide on one. I was going to get so charred. But I didn't, I um, thought it was a little bit too bright. And then I went to look at brushes and I was going to get the the really big tapered blending brush. I was going to get that um, and then I decided against it. And then I went to eyeshadows and then I wandered off somewhere else and started looking at naked palettes. And then I, I was like, no, I can't afford them. I don't have enough money at the moment. So I went back to MAC and I decided on a lip liner. Um, I've been wearing a lot of orange lipstick recently since I've gone back red and yeah I've been wearing a lot of the MAC Sounds Like Noise which is from the Hayley Williams collection, I don't know if anybody saw that when it came out and um, I think they've all been discontinued now. I don't actually have a lip liner to go with that that suits it exactly so, so I got MAC Fruit Cocktail which is like a... It is a little bit pinky, so it's not an exact match, but it's probably the closest I'll get if I want a matte clip liner, so there we have it. It is really nice. I'll put an actual swatch of the lipstick at the side of it, just to show you. So there we go, it's not an exact match, but I'm pretty happy with it, so yeah, I can't wait to use that. So yeah, I only got one thing from MAC and that cost me 12 50 I think it is for a lip liner. Final shop is Primark. Um, I went in Primark and got like three things, which is like impressive, I think. <laughs> okay, so I got some socks because I'm really exciting as a human being. And <laughs> yeah, these are microfiber shoe liners. They feel really soft and comfortable and I wear trainer socks like all the time. So I got some and there's five pillars for £2.50, which is extremely good value for money, I think. And so yeah, I got them, all different colours, super bright, summery, cool, why not? <laughs> I also got some booty shorts, <laughs> because it's been quite warm recently and I saw them and thought they looked really nice. And I'm actually wearing them right now because it's boiling today. So yeah, let me show you. This is what they look like. Oh, I'm not tall enough to show you. <laughs> so yeah, I got these shorts, they were £3 and I just think they're really nice. They're really comfortable as well and they make my booty look nice. Did I just do a bum wiggle on YouTube? I think I might have. Oh well. I also got some of these high-waisted jeans. Uh, I've got a couple of pairs of these. They're not the most amazing quality from Primark or fit, but they're really cheap for like £11. So I thought I'll just get them. Uh, I've not tried them on yet, so I'm going to try them on in a minute and see what they look like. But yeah, they are. They're just the high-waisted stretchy jeans, but these are like light grey acid wash ones, I thought they looked really cool and summery, so yeah. Yeah, they fit really well, I really like them. I just think they're really nice and summery, and yeah. I'll just test them out and see if they're indestructible. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. So yeah, that's everything I got, I feel like that is not a lot at all. I like it when I've not got much things, it means I can talk about them more, and instead of me just going, I got this! I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I also got this, and this receipt, and this water, and this spray, and this mouse, and this iPhone. Why did I just do that? My room is a mess now. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Um, I'm using a different lens, um, so let me know what you think about the blurry background thing, kind of. I know that this lens looks a lot better, but it's a lot harder to focus, so... I will see what it looks like. I keep looking at myself in the screen right there and I know that's annoying, but I'm just trying to see from my focus. Once I get used to the lens, maybe I won't do that as much, but yes, it's kind of hard when you're distracted by a big orange head. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Let me know what you think about my shopping items. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page and my Instagram and my Twitter and my Tumblr and anything and blah. it's all in the description box below and everything I just said was so YouTube-y. I think I just made up a new word, YouTube-y. YouTube-y. 
I'm gonna go and lie down. <laughs> Goodbye guys, thanks for watching. Bye.